Hey everybody, JC Peretz here, founder of All Star Charts, and we are back. I'm here with my man, Louis Sykes. Crypto is on fire. We've been through these cycles before, um, but I've never seen them moving this aggressively with this much doubt. Louis, every other time, people were going crazy. It was a party. Now I feel like nobody believes what they're seeing. That's just humbleweeds, JC. And I'm just so surprised. You know, yes, you know, last time we were on this, we're talking about how it's the beginning of a new bull market. And now you're just seeing these things just go vertical. This thing is just moving so fast, yeah. so quick. And it's unequivocally the case that we're in a bull market. And if you don't have exposure here, I don't know what the hell you're doing. You know, it's funny. Um, I, I don't get everything right, but I do remember saying and repeating many times, you know, when moon, in other words, when do we know that we're in a crypto bull market? And you know what I was saying for so long? You'll know it when you see it. You'll know when it's a crypto bull market. And this is absolutely that. There's no question. But again, the sentiment continues to remain. We quantify this. We know the sentiment continues to remain very muted, which I think is further evidence that it's got legs. But you can also see it in the price. First of all, let's see the outperformance of Bitcoin. I don't know. I don't know if you heard, Louis. So, folks, if you're listening out there, Louis uh, is, is here with us from New Zealand, right? Um, and uh, it, it's a bull market. Uh, there's absolutely no question when it comes to stocks. Uh, but despite the, the historic returns we're seeing in equities, Bitcoin is destroying all of them, Louis. Absolutely. And so Bitcoin, you know, doubling within this, you know, within 2024, obviously you've got equities, you've got traditional stocks down below, up 25%, 27%, which that's a great year for stocks. But look at Bitcoin. Yep. And what I want to be talking about today is just the returns down beneath the cap scale. Because even though Bitcoin is up 100% this year, breaking to all-time highs, as you can see here, these altcoins are just exploding higher. And so Bitcoin is heading to 100K here, and there's just so much opportunity down the cap scale. Yeah, so so this is the basic premise, like 100%. Uh, Bitcoin's going higher. Uh, you know, that has been the opinion. That is what is currently happening. More importantly... Right. Louis and I have been pounding the table. This is going to break out. It's coming. You know, you saw it in micro strategies as a leader. Bitcoin, it's coming. But regardless of what we thought or even what we think, this is what's actually happening. And that's the beauty of technical analysis. And this is what we've been applying to traditional markets for 20 years. And at this point, professionally, as an analyst, I did it for 10 years where the largest financial institutions in the world to this day are paying us for that research and the trade ideas in the stock market and bonds and in commodities. That same exact analysis is now being applied to crypto markets. This isn't like, oh, some story about some layer one blockchain technology that's going to revolutionize Web 3.0. Yeah, maybe. But I, I don't have to pretend to know about any of those things. I can actually see it in the price, right? And that's never going to lie. So the being price-driven and data-driven, data-dependent, like we always have been, Louis and folks out there listening, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, is such a huge advantage because all that other stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, Louis alluded to, you know, all, all, all the other altcoins that are doing so well, where the real money is being made despite Bitcoin doubling, literally doubling this year. Uh, there have been other opportun better opportunities elsewhere. Louis, can you tell the folks how important it is that we're seeing these spikes in the percentage of stocks or percentage of stock, Freudian slip, uh, percentage of tokens, coins that are above their 200-day moving average? In other words, in uptrends. Now, folks, what you might not understand is just how, you know, how much these tokens really just got hit this year you know they fell into a 70 percent drawdown but now they're rebuilding now they're building back these bases here we're looking at the percentage of coins above their 200 day moving average it has just spiked dramatically and so we like to point to these breadth thrusts and these momentum thrusts these are the sort of things that you see at the beginning of new trends not at the end of them and so you had the market peak in in march earlier this year you had a little bit of base building, and now what's happening? You're getting that explosion higher, Bitcoin breaking out to all-time highs, and the expansion within all these smaller altcoins, which is where all the opportunity lies, is just tremendous. 
Yeah, and that that's really it. You know, when we talk about Bitcoin, if it was just Bitcoin, that would be one thing. But what this chart is suggesting is that not only is it not Bitcoin, it's more of all of the other things than we've seen in six months. And some a spike like this, this quickly, whether you're talking about traditional markets like stocks or whether you're talking about cryptocurrencies, it's the same thing. They happen early in cycles. This is not at all evidence of exhaustion. These are not the things you see at the end. There's no precedent to that, uh, precedent to that at all. Um, so speaking of breath expansion, um, continuing to get that action out of the Doge, the Doge is the you know blue chip of the space, of the meme coin space, if you will. $40, $40 billion in market cap, 43 last I checked, uh, which is unbelievable. Shiba Inu, uh, a recent trade at ASC Crypto, uh, Mr. Louis Sykes, you want to walk through this nice little pullback? Yeah, so we've really just flipped to a bullish tone really over these last few months. It's not just yesterday or the week before. Yeah. We've been seeing growing evidence. And as a result, we've been trying to take advantage of this opportunity within all these altcoins. And so we published this trade here in October. You had Shiba Inu shaping up, a pull back into support. And then what happened in the months following that? We've got that massive rally. Obviously, Shiba has been a massive uh, uh, beneficiary of this entire crypto rotation meme coins are on fire and so this has just been a great trade uh where it's you know just hit our target over these last yeah and, and for those of you who might be um you know new, newer to crypto perhaps you know think of doge as like the gold and shiba as like the silver right to to that like if you want like a comparison in that space like doge is the bigger one it's the right and then shiba's the smaller market capitalization but you know they're gonna they're, they're gonna they're gonna you're gonna see that uh, that added beta. What about uh, what about Drift here, Louis? Yeah, so Drift, this one was a great trade here. So we published this back in September. And so it was basing up, it was a new ICO. We love ICOs because they tend to offer a lot of beta, a lot of outsized returns, particularly in bull markets. And what's happened over the last week is that this thing has just exploded higher. Um, it hit our target with, you know, absolute vengeance. Um, and from where it is at, at its peak to where we published, you know, we're talking about a 500% move. And these are the sort of opportunities within crypto down the cap scale in market environments like these. And then folks, I, I want to just, you know, if you're out there and, and some of this sounds familiar, be like, you know, the big bellwether making big moves and, and looking down the cap scale for bigger opportunities. You know, if that reminds you of the gold market, uh, it should, because that is literally the exact same strategy. You know, guys, I, I, I know a lot of people listening are, are, are Canadians, are familiar with the uh, Vancouver gold industry. And, you know, a lot of Americans are just, just understand the gold market, especially, you know, those of you who've been around for 20, 30, 40 years and have experienced markets or, or maybe are on the younger side and have at least studied those markets. When gold historically is going up, that's great. There's plenty of money to be made in gold, but it's the junior gold miners. It's the junior silver miners. It's even the regular gold miners and silver miners, but even more so the smaller cap ones. That's where you're getting the 20 baggers, 30 baggers, 40 baggers with gold, maybe doubling or tripling, right? You're getting the monster moves. This is the exact same thing. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a, a better comparison in what you're seeing in crypto. Literally, it's happening. What you're watching is nothing new. It literally is nothing new. This is what the gold market has been doing for, I don't know, a century, right? A long, long time. So if this sounds familiar, it should. Right. It's literally the exact same thing. Uh, Louis, what about the superverse? Uh, speaking of a great names for a cryptocurrency i love it i think one thing that the crypto community does a great job at is coming up with all these funky yes. names yeah. it makes it really interesting right it's not just typing in some random ticker and some random boring company you've got stuff like harry potter the harry potter token i just love these great names. name anyway. harry potter obama i mean come on can you think of a better name for a token i mean you know they're getting real creative that. out there louis they are, they are. And so this one was just a real basic trade. Again, putting in that nice basing pattern. Whether this was a cryptocurrency or a stock or a foreign exchange market, it doesn't really matter. It's formed a nice base. It broke out. We put on the trade. 
and it just stair stepped higher to our target just hit our target of 160 over these last few days and so that's just a great example again of all the opportunities within you know crypto right now um and then look this thing is actually shaping up for another breakout here to new highs and so even though we've got this 100% move, this double in price, it's actually set up quite nicely for another breakout here. Yeah, this is a great trade, just getting back to those former highs. Now there's a new trade setting up to go above and beyond. This reminds me a lot of Amazon. You know, we had been long Amazon going into, you know, with the target being those former highs. Now the new trade is the next breakout, that next leg higher. Same thing with Bitcoin, by the way. Remember the Bitcoin trade? It was like against 30, 31, you buy it with the target back to those former highs near 70. That was the trade. And then it consolidated from there and it broke out. And now there's a new trade, obviously. This is a lot like that. Reminds me very, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Same trade over and over again, the same setup. By the way, guys, if you're wondering, uh, Superverse, this one's about 750 million. It's about three quarters of a of a billion dollars in market cap. This is the last I checked. This is the when is it about the hundredth, the hundred and seventh largest token, uh, Superverse. You know, in case you're wondering. And then, by the way, uh, these cryptocurrencies. I don't know if you heard, they would trade up and they trade down, right? Up and down, right? It's not and or up and or down. It's up and down, right, Louis? Tell them. Exactly. And so this is one of the trades that I'm actually really proud of because even though we've been in this raging bull market, these cryptos are breaking out. We like to, we never dogmatic in our approach. So we never just always bullish or we never just always bearish. We're just here to take advantage of money flow and make a nice little profit along the way. And so in this case here, we had Maker, it was breaking down. We published a short below one, uh, you know, 1800. And then it just hit our target. And so this is actually one of the only cryptocurrencies that have been going down and we managed to to catch that with this nice short here and so i was, I was really quite happy with that trade yeah and and louis that that's really important the fact that you know we're not dogmatic because nothing we've ever done ever in history has been that way we take the data as it comes in there's times to be bullish there's times to be bearish there's times to be neutral and that's not just in crypto that's in any asset class and I think it's important, folks, if you're listening to anybody, if you're reading anybody's content, if you're consuming anything, understand what is their motivation? What are they trying to do? Uh, for us, in case you didn't realize, we're just trying to make money. I mean, just this here's the range finder. So this is where all the trade ideas. So uh, at ASC Crypto, anybody who's a subscriber gets access to this dashboard or where all the trade ideas are literally laid out there, uh, can be filtered at any time. Everything is right there. Our only interest is making money in the market. If you are also interested in making money in the market, you should join us. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, we learn along the way. Um, and we're here to make money, most importantly. Uh, if that's in cryptocurrencies, if that's in commodities, if that's in stocks, if that's in bonds, ETFs, there's a lot of ways to make money in the market. But man, with the deregulation that is happening, I mean, if you're wondering whether or not there's going to be deregulation, the market's already voted. It's happening. Right. So you have the financial institutions coming in, BlackRock, Fidelity, all the big banks are all coming in one by one. You're seeing it. You got the deregulation. You're seeing it. You got the ETFs already. You got the ETF options approval. Guys, this stuff is not going away. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay. And, you know, like we talked about last week, Louis, I have never been more bullish in crypto my entire life. And this is something that I've owned since 2014. And I'm telling you, I've never been more bullish. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So uh, everybody, uh, check out this range finder. Uh, this is fantastic. Louis, uh, tomorrow you're going to be dropping three trades tomorrow morning three for trades, subscribers so of ASC. Three trades. So talking about some of the crypto equities, right? So we're looking at all these altcoins, all these tokens, but we're, we're also looking at all these crypto stocks, these Bitcoin mining stocks. And we're really just talking about this entire market. And, you know, going back to what JC said before, he's never been more bullish crypto. I just want to point out how significant of a statement that is. And you guys might be looking at some of this price action and seeing Bitcoin going vertical, a lot of these altcoins, they're two, three, four baggers already. And you might be thinking to yourself, am I late? Am I late to the party? And, you know, you just look at Bitcoin that's only just breaking out. Bitcoin has gone nowhere for two, three, four years. 
a lot of these altcoins have just fallen into drawdowns and now they're just breaking out. Like, it's not whether we're late. It, this thing is just getting started. And so this is really the perfect time to think about the allocation that we're all having towards crypto. And in this case here, it's unequivocally bullish. And if you don't have any exposure, then I don't know what you're doing. You know, it's uh, there's so much opportunity out there. You know, crypto has really allowed me, Louis, to make up for uh, a mistake that I made very early on in my career. You know, when I first started in 2003, um, this was the start of a major gold bull market. I mean, precious metals for the next decade absolutely ripped. It was easy to be a gold bug. Gold bugs were cool. I was making a lot of money. And I was in, in, in the gold ETF once it launched. Sound familiar? Um, I was in the, in the the larger cap gold miners, and I thought I was the next Warren Buffett. I thought I was a hero. And years went by, and I thought I was making so much money, and everything was great because you know I was I was in all the blue chips. I was doing it right, you know, young JC in his twenties. And then I started meeting my friends in Canada, and my friends in Canada were schooling me about the house that they were buying in Whistler with the. 150 bagger that they got in some Chilean gold miner or whatever, uh, you know, smaller cap, 250 million, 300 million, you know, making an absolute fortune. And that's when it hit me. It's like, no, stupid. You don't want to be in the ETF. You don't want to be in the big caps. You got to be in the smaller ones. Like, are you here to make a lot of money or not? Right? Like, what are we doing here? And I feel like if you are in the market, I think there needs to be some kind of sleeve somewhere to get the maximum exposure to an emerging asset class, which is crypto. And I got to tell you, uh, I, I've always treated it as, you know, kind of, uh, you know, more stocks. And I got to tell you, that's been right. Uh, and whether it is right or whether it's not right, folks, I'm telling you that that mentality has helped me. I feel like we don't have to put cryptocurrencies on a pedestal. Like they're like this, like other thing. We just treat them as more stocks. They, they trade like stocks. They go up and down like stocks. The smaller ones trade more volatile and move faster. Like all of the same characteristics that we see in the stock market, we see it in crypto. We treat it no differently. Here we're looking at a chart of the percentage of coins that are above their 200-day moving average. Does that sound familiar? It's the exact same thing we're doing in the stock market, but we're doing it here in crypto. So a move where Bitcoin doubles or Bitcoin goes up 50% or 200%, down the cap scale, you're going to get 20x, 30x down the cap scale. And they keep happening again and again and again. So it's not like, oh, there's one wave and you missed it. They keep happening. The market doesn't guarantee much. Uh, but the one thing that it does guarantee is that there's going to be more opportunities. And in bull markets, when more of these keep breaking out, you're seeing expansion and participation. That's the market reiterating that, yeah, baby, we're gonna, I'm going to keep sending you more opportunities. You can take them or not, right? So I love and I'm very, very proud of what we've done uh, at ASC Crypto over many years. Louis, how long have we been working on this, the technology, the data, all of this, how long now? It's been a long time. A lot of hours have gone Is it into four? it. Four years? I think I think four or five years, yeah. Four or five years? And so a lot of hours, a lot of work has gone into this, understanding what this market is, how to best take advantage of it, understanding the little intricacies. And at the end of the day, what that results in is just finding the highest conviction trade ideas that make it the, the easiest and most streamlined way to make money in crypto. And so this is why I love Rangefinder, right? Because crypto can be so complicated. It can be overwhelming for people that are only just getting involved. But Rangefinder just provides the simple trade ideas. Okay, where, where are they getting in? Where are they getting out? Where do they think there's probably going to be some support, some resistance? Just laying it out really simply. And the end result is that it makes it so much more easier to get exposure to crypto. Listen, any trader, any investor, I've talked to a zillion of them. I am myself. Like when you wake up in the morning, it's like, well, where do I start? 
Like, where do I start? How do I know what to trade? How should I look for? Rangefinder is absolutely fantastic. So members of ASC Crypto obviously have complete access to Rangefinder and all of the trade ideas and your custom alerts, right? Be alerted however you'd like, whether it be through push notification or email or both or neither. And you just want to check the dashboard on your own. Uh, Louis sending three research reports a week. Tomorrow morning, uh, a new one's going out. Three trade ideas, cryptos that you got to get in. Uh, right now. And what I really like, Louie, and I'd love for you to explain this, um, is the, the the bullish, the bearish, and the neutral. Folks, if you're listening out there, before any trade ideas or anything, we want to know what type of market environment we're in. We want to know if we're even looking for long opportunities, right? Um, how should we be allocating our time, right, Louie? Yeah, exactly. And it can be really overwhelming. You're looking at crypto and all this information coming in, all this news, price action, no wonder why people are overwhelmed. And so at the beginning of every week, I just simply outline, okay, am I bullish or bearish or neutral over short, long and intermediate timeframes? And that's all, we, you know, that, that, that encapsulates everything that we're seeing and the technicals, the breadth, what's happening in macro markets, including all the news. And so it just removes some of that information overload that's just so present within crypto. No, I love it. I'm super proud of everything. And Louis, you've done an amazing job, particularly with the visualization. Um, you know, the the technology setting up the alerts is fantastic. Guys, listen, uh, <laughs> it's a bull market. And these cryptos are going up all the time. Uh, Bitcoin is doing great. Bitcoin doubled this year. And it is a massive underperformer compared to the others. And I think that that trend is here to stay. So if you'd like to join us at ASC Crypto, uh, $14.99 a year is an absolute steal. One trade pays for it all. And if you're here, if you're in this for the long run and you believe that crypto is not going anywhere because you're looking at the data like we are and, and you want to navigate these markets with us every single day for the lifetime of ASC crypto, uh, join us, uh, join us, take advantage, right? If you're going to be here, you might as well be here with us for the long haul. Uh, that's how I look at it. And uh, we'd love to have you. It's a great community. It is um, uh, never a dull day. Uh, like Louis said, folks, uh, the names of some of these things are pretty hilarious, so we have a good time with it. But at the end of the day, there's there's real money being made, real money. These are real moves. These are not little tiny cryptocurrencies like you may have seen in prior cycles. These are billion-dollar tokens, $7 billion, $3 billion, $750 million. Like There's real market capitalization and real liquidity behind these names. And it's been fascinating to watch from day one. Um, I don't know that I knew that we would be here. Well, I can tell you for a fact, I did not know we would be here because uh, I've, as bullish as I've always been, uh, I've never been this bullish. This is the time is now, Louis. You're seeing it. We are witnessing history, Louis. Uh, so, the folks, train is leaving the station. I, I I want you to know how how much fun Louis and I have had over the years, and and how much money I've made uh trading these markets with louis uh so it you know it, it warms my heart it really is fantastic well thank you jc and you know the train is leaving the station and so the time to really think about what you're doing with crypto allocating in terms of your portfolio now is the time the train is leaving the station these markets aren't going to wait around for anyone and so i think you know what we've done here is try to create the best in-house research possible to take advantage of, of these crypto trends. And so $4.99, uh, $14.99 a year, um, you know, I, I think that's a steal, JC. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, Louie. A lot of people, uh, the emails that we're getting and stuff feel the same way. So um, guys, listen, um, I don't tell anybody what to do with their money. That's none of my business. You, you know, you do what's best for you. I can tell you how I think about it. As a father of three, um, you know, and, and the leader of my household, um, you know, I own real estate and I own stocks and we got retirement stuff and kids college funds and we're looking to buy more real estate. Like, that's just me. So as a father of my family, how do I think about crypto? I worry that I don't have enough exposure and, and you're looking at somebody who's got a lot of exposure to crypto, right? But I think about this uh, uh, quite a bit. I... Uh, I'm in, so um, if this continues, my family will be just fine. Um, I, I think I don't have enough exposure. That's that's where I am right now mentally. Um, so I need to continue to 
focus on this particular asset class, continue to add resources, time and attention, right? So it's not just like a portfolio diversification standpoint alone, although I think that is certainly part of the equation, the diversification aspect of cryptocurrencies, um, but it's more so uh, taking advantage of a certain moment in time, uh, a particularly historic moment, and being aware of that, we've experienced historic moments in markets before in other asset classes like stocks and commodities and interest rates. And this is certainly one of them that I think that we're going to be talking about 20 years from now, 50 years from now. We're going to be talking about this moment. So I hope you uh, take take this seriously. You guys know me. I don't just like randomly make stuff up. Um, you know, if you hear come out, out of my mouth, I, I truly believe that I am participating in it um, myself. Uh, so if you'd like to join us and be in the trenches with us, uh, join us at ASC Crypto. That's oh, it. That's every, that's that's everything. You know, it's um I'm I'm really looking forward to what what the next few months and what the next year holds. So much opportunity in this asset class, and um, and I, I just can't wait for what the future holds. Ladies and gentlemen, click the link below. Join us at ASC Crypto. If you have any questions at all, please uh, email us. You know, we're always around. Uh, Mary's always here to help. Louis around. Spencer, uh, please email us. And we'll see you on the flip side. You know, it's uh, it, it's 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 mooning season, isn't it? That it is. That's moon season. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. Like I always say, you could be anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And we appreciate you. Adios. Thank you.